sort by counting this is the algorithm to arrange the elements of the array in ascending order so idea behind this algorithm is for every element of the array get the count that is where exactly that element is to be placed that count you are required to find out once you know the exact count or exact position of that element then copy that array elements onto the new array based on the position values for example here for 62 the count here is 3 that means this element is to be copied onto the third index of the sorted array so we are taking a new array s yes, this contains sorted elements so in s3 you have to copy 62 similarly <coughs> 31 31 count here is 1 so where exactly you are required to copy this 31 in index 1 so similarly for 96 it is the count is 5 so the element 96 is to be copied onto the fifth index of array s so like that uh, you can arrange the elements of the array a in ascending order in order to do this sorting you are adding adding additional information to the input this is an example for input enhancement because for every element of the array you are adding additional information what is that an additional information you are adding count of every element so this will indicate the actual position for uh, elements of the array so we will see this algorithm so initialize count equal to 0 for every element of the array for that vary the loop from 0 to n minus 1 and count of i equal to 0 now for every element of the array you are required to get the count so for that vary the loop from 0 to n minus 2 and this i element is to be compared with remaining all the elements of the array for that j is to be varied from i plus 1 to n minus 1 now if a of i is greater than a of j then this i element should come after the j element obviously you have to increment the count of i when increment the count of i when a of i is greater than a of j in case if a of j is greater than a of i then increment the count of j so with that you will get count for every elements of the array so when you complete this follow next once you get the count for all the elements of the array the final thing is you have to copy this elements of the array onto the new uh, array called s based on the count values for that vary loop from 0 to n minus 1 s of count of i equal to a of i then finally return the sorted array s so in this example we have taken six elements in the array so the array elements are like this initially count for every element is equal to 0 so it is being set count equal to 0 for all the elements of the array then i equal to 0 now initially i equal to 0 that is 62 is to be compared with the remaining elements of the array for that set j equal to i plus 1 that is 1 to n minus 1 that is 1 to 5 you are required to vary the value of j so when you compare 62 with 31 32 is larger so increment the count of i by 1 so initially count of i that is count of 0 is 1 now when you have incremented it is equal to 
again you have to compare with 84 so jth element is greater than the ith element so increment the count of j here that is count of 2 is incremented now it is equal to 1 similarly 96 is greater than 62 so increment the count of j it is equal to 1 now and ith element is larger than this 19 so increment the count of i by 1 now it is equal to 2 and finally here when you have compared so ith element that is 62 is larger than this 47 so final count for 62 is 3 so like that like that vary i from 0 to n minus 2 0 to 4 so when you have done like that you will get the count for every element of the array look at here in the first iteration 5 comparisons to get the count actual count for first element 5 comparisons is made 4 3 2 1 total number of comparisons is 50 so once you get the count for every element of the array you are required to copy this elements onto the new array yes so how do you do that for that vary i from 0 to n minus 1 s of count of i equal to ai s of count of i s of count of 0 count of 0 is 3 so count 3 uh, count of 0 is 3 that is s3 is equal to a of 0 a of 0 is 62 so in s3 62 is copied similarly s of count of 1 is count of 1 is 1 that is s1 in s1 a1 is to be copied similarly s of count of 2 is 4 that is s4 you are required to copy a of 2 that is 84 in s4 84 is copied similarly s of count of 3 count of 3 is 5 in s5 a3 is to be copied a3 is 96 so in s5 96 is copied like this remaining all the elements of the array is to be copied so final list yes contains the sorted elements that you have to return now we'll see the analysis part of it so basically you are required to count the comparisons this is the, this is the basic operation performed in this algorithm this comparison is dependent on the value of n so count cn cn equal to vary i from 0 to n minus 2 so and j from i plus 1 to n minus 1 so 0 to <coughs> n minus 2 j from i plus 1 to n minus 1 and in each iteration one comparison so when you simplify in our summation what you are going to get is n minus 1 minus i so substitute i value from 0 to n minus 2 so when you substitute this sequence will look look like this n minus 1 plus n minus 2 so on plus 2 plus 1 this is sum of natural number up to n minus 1 terms the value is n into n minus 1 by 2 this belong to theta of n square so here this is an example for input enhancement because for every element you are associating some additional information for the input you are associating count as the additional information in order to speed up the sorting uh, uh, sorting so this way of uh, like finding the solution for any problem is called input enhancement so sort by counting is an example for 
Input Enhancement.